Answer eight? No. Well, I'll take my favorite first case. Well, let's go and run through it real quick. So suppose the amount of oil pumped on the canning well decreases at a continuous rate of 10% um, per year. After how many years will the well be performing to one-fifth of the present value? So again, guys, we have our initial and our final amounts, right? So we have our final amount, I'll just call that y, equals then we're going to have our initial amount, which you'll see. And then our rate, now again, we're going to be kind of thinking of at this continuous rate, r to the t. All right? Now, again, we, this is going to be decreasing, but it's saying it decreases at a rate of 10%. So we got to think of like, where is this growing? Like at regular rate would be at 1. So if it's decreasing at 10%, then we could say that it's, it has a rate of growth of 100% um, minus 10%, which would be at 100% minus 10%, which would be at 90%. And we could write that as a decimal or percentage, or you could just write it as a fraction, which I will prefer. Um, and then t is going to equal, where is it? Or after trying to find t, right? All right. Now, so let's talk about initial and present value. We just need to figure something that's going to be 1 fifth. So should we just use easy numbers? I would. What if we made the initial value 1? What's 1 fifth of 1? 1 fifth. <laughs> that was kind of easy. All right, cool. And therefore, this is going to be 9, nine tenths raised to the t. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and um, find the uh, Dine t. Sorry? Why is it 9 over 10? Oh, well, because, I'm sorry. Um, because that's going to be our rate that's growing. So it's decreasing at a rate of 10%. And I can show you, I guess, looking at the graph, it can kind of make a little bit more sense. But it's decreasing at a continuous rate of 10%. So if you're just like increasing a rate of 100%, if you're subtracting that 10%, then therefore that's where you're going to get your rate of, like your, de your rate would be at 90%. You're decreasing the 10% from. Now if we go and take the ln of both sides, ln of 1 fifth equals the ln of 9 tenths raised to the t. Can we now bring the t in front? Right? So ln of 1 fifth equals t times ln of 9 tenths. And now we can solve for t, right? t is equal to? ln of 1 fifth divided by the ln of 9 tenths. Now, does that look like a good answer? Yeah. Could they give it to us in another way? Could we rewrite this as, could we write ln as 5 to the negative first power? And then bring the 1 out in front? Could they write it like, could you write it like this? And then ln of 9 minus ln of 10? Could it look like that? It could. Or could they distribute the negative all the way through? And therefore it would be ln of 5 all over ln of 10 plus or minus ln of 9. Just want you guys to be aware of different ways that it could be looking at from there.